pack up quickly and punch on out of town, I think, and try and get to the next spot, and hopefully we may be away from these wretched flies. We'll find out. Well, we made it about oh, 200 meters from our lovely fly infested campsite, and then accidentally fell into a ditch, and now Coco's stuck in the mud. So we get to play the fun game of try and get her out. We don't really want to use the max tracks because then they'll get filthy and covered in mud. But worst case scenario, we can stick them in because she's not too deep. So just going for a little wander to try and find some logs or something. Progress so far is that we've got one max track on the other side. One max track here that's not all the way in. But the highest track keeps giving way. So we can't get the car up any higher. Safely, anyway. Yeah! Yep. And time for us to hit the road again. Well, we made it out. Coco's, Coco's now no longer stuck in the mud. But she is completely motherfuckered, and so is the Max Tracks, our thongs, our hands, our ego, high lift jack. But we made it here to the. Ooh, look, an eagle. And frogs. Shut up. Made it here to public shower. Looks like some sort of catfish. Yeah, it's big though, eh? Yeah, very big. Oh, yeah, too. Face only a mother could love. All of, the, all of Coco's lovely bits have had a bit of a wash. And so have we. She's still absolutely filthy, dirty bitch. But we made it into town and been chilling out here. Hamish has just been writing a letter. And now we've got a bit of time to kill before we can send it off. So we're outside the courthouse, Normanton Courthouse, Normanton Police Station. And we need to let them know that we've lost the number plate, that we lost uh, crossing the Jardine River. Um, tell the police that we've lost it and then go into the courthouse and find out about getting a new one. Just made a quick buzz and that's apparently we go. That's what we have to do, so see how this all turns out. Haven't you heard of Birkin Wills, mate? Nope. Shit, you need to read more. Sounds like these people had a very miserable time trying to get to their, well, not to the Cape, but even just to the Gulf of Carpentaria, to cross the country, the race between Victoria and South Australia. Wow. There was, what, I think seven people died, even on the, the like, backup teams. Sounds like they had a fun try time trying to cross cross the country. So, so the, um, actually, I'm not quite sure what we're be getting to. I'm thinking we're getting to these mud trees. I think it's a river. Great. Black and Mills camp. One, one, nine. Six, six, four, five, four. Signature. Blazers. And that's it there. Crazy to think. Like, imagine being king, the one guy to survive out of all four of them. 
having gone off with Burke, Burke dying on you, returning back to find your other mate dead already, and then continuing on your own, trying to find some means of surviving. We've gone and made it to our campsite for the night, which is, take a look, just up on that ridge line. I think that might be Coco just there, down by this little leftover water from what is where I am right now, the Leichhardt River. Yeah, Leichhardt River. The mighty Leichhardt River. But as I climb up on these rocks, and as you will see from up here, the Leichhardt, mighty Leichhardt River, if I can speak properly, is uh, not very mighty. Pretty dried up. Dry as a dead dingo's diner. She is. Just walking up to the water's edge, and she's a bit of a drop from up here. This actually would be a pretty cool waterfall to see in wet season. Well, just on my walk back to the car, I found myself a new friend. Say good day, Baza. How you going? Oh yeah, pretty good, pretty good. He's um about as dry as this waterfall, I think. Looks like he's having a bit of a rough day. A rough few days. Might leave him be. So one thing that's quite phenomenal about this little stop is check out, let's see if I can zoom in and get a better view, but all of that white stuff over there. All of that is cockatoos. Haven't seen many white cockatoos since, oh, since Brisbane. But they're all been black cockatoos, but that is an absolute bot ton. There are thousands of them. And then just an eagle flying overhead, you know, just casually. Wow, look at them all flying overhead. There's millions of these birds. Everywhere. Look at them all. This is unreal. They're everywhere. Well, isn't that a sight to behold? All the cockies flying around you. That was unreal.